There are people in every community working hard to make our neighborhoods, our cities, and our state a better place to live. They're committed each day to fulfilling a promise to serve, protect, and to make a positive impact on those around them. We call them the heroes of Arizona. I'm Mike Broomhead. Usually any contact we have with the Highway Patrol is brief, official, and professional, like at a traffic stop or an accident. Rarely do we get to see the human side of a trooper. Captain Dave Blue is a DPS district commander. He's described as a man with a rough exterior, but a heart of a servant. Throughout his 28 year career, he routinely has gone above and beyond the call of duty. With your years of experience, what do you say to the young men and women that walk through the door now and they're looking to you as a captain now as leadership? I say to them that uh, you need to understand, embrace and value. And I firmly believe value it and embrace it. And again, understand the code of ethics. First paragraph, uh, first line says welfare of others. That means taking care of others. Doesn't matter who they are, what they are, where they come from, you shall take care of them. Provide them the customer service. That's what I embrace. That's my leadership style. And I, I, I emphasize that every single day. From organizing and leading a team of other off-duty troopers to build access ramps at a home of a terminally ill DPS employee, to delivering a plant of life to families who lost loved ones in a tragic accident. Captain Blue's selfless acts may go unnoticed, but he prefers it that way. We just took care of it. You gotta do the right thing for the right reason, period. And a few months ago, he surprised a fellow veteran who didn't have the means to get his car out of the impound yard after it had been stolen. Uh, they were trying to get his vehicle out and they wanted our assistance. So I said, don't worry, I'll take care of it. So just give me his number. I made contact with him. He said that he couldn't uh, get up to the place to go get his vehicle, didn't know where it was at. And so I went down, picked him up, drove up, got his vehicle out, took care of the part of the tow bill for him, and got him in his car and let him get on his way. Perhaps the most honorable contribution is one we the public never get a chance to see, except for right here. People, I don't know that people understand the significance of being in law enforcement and the loss all of you feel when any law enforcement officer uh, loses their life. You had a big part in making sure there's a trooper memorial here at headquarters for all troopers to see. Can you tell us a little bit about how that happened and why? I noticed that there, there wasn't in that particular building paying homage to the, to the 30 lost officers. So I made it a project right away. That was my first project to get done so that when we walk out that door and we walk in that door, each and every day we remember the 30 individuals on that wall. And it was very important to me and it was very important to the, uh, I, I got the buy-in from the, uh, the troopers and they helped on board. We built it together because uh, you gotta value them, you gotta respect them, you gotta pay homage every day. And we, we, we can't forget, you shall not forget, that's our motto, and we won't forget. Captain Blue has an office, but you'll rarely find him in it. Most of his days are spent assisting other troopers and helping people like you and me make it home safely. His sincere compassion to community was instilled in him at a young age by his hero. What was it about your mother that motivated you to want to be a servant? Selflessness. It was, uh, I think we were in Colorado. Uh, she was snuggling in the snow. Individual came back, I think it was 14, 15, I can't remember how old it was. But anyway, she was snuggling in the snow and a guy literally came by a bike. He had no jacket or anything. She's out there and we're snuggling in the snow together. She gave, him a, she gave him her jacket. And I said, were well, you going to get anything for that? and get some money out of it or anything? She goes, no. I said, well, why'd you give it to him? It was the right thing to do. I'll never forget that. Captain Dave Blue genuinely humanizes the uniform he wears and is true to the mission he lives by. Mission first, people always. Captain Dave Blue is a true Arizona hero.